Hello YouTube and welcome back. This is Nico and you're watching Determinator Gaming. Today we're playing Kingdom Come Deliverance, as uh, you may be able to tell. And we're doing another armor guide today. This one, of course, as you may be able to tell from the thumbnail and title, or at least I hope you can tell, is the Stealth Slash Assassin's Armor Guide. Uh, this one would be your, you know, for your hardcore Assassin's Creed fans, you know, the people who want to get into it and be real sneaky and kill people from, you know, behind real quietly. Uh, also, this could be a helpful guide for a mission in the game, which the name escapes me, but you go into Talmberg at night and, you know, you gotta be sneaky. There's there's my spoiler-free guide right there. Uh, but this guide will contain some weapons and armor and clothing and everything. That's a pretty damn good stealth outfit, uh, if I do say so myself. Uh, I paid less attention to aesthetics in this one, went more for functionality. Uh, obviously, you gotta avoid chainmail and plate armor because they just make too much noise and they're very conspicuous. Uh, but that being said, if you have any suggestions, if you think you make this one better, uh, you know, tell me down in the comments. Uh, if you like it, leave a like. Uh, and if you like this content at all, whether you find it useful, entertaining, or, uh, I don't know, any other redeeming quality about it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. It'll help you stay up to date on everything I do, and you'll see all sorts of awesome Kingdom Come Deliverance stuff. But uh, without any further ado, let's just jump right into this armor guide uh, so you know how to make a stealth outfit. All right, so starting us off in weapons as usual. Now, this one's kind of fun because I went in and I was going to pick out, I was like, okay, well, what weapon does an assassin use? And then I'm going through my weapons, and lo and behold, I find exactly what weapon an assassin uses. Uh, it's this uh, longsword called the Assassin. Strange, right? Uh, with a max max damage of 52, and that's in Slash. So that's not a terrible sword, actually. Uh, just quick read the thing. It says, a longsword with a blade forged and honed for slashing blows. The increased weight of the longsword ensures a clean cut, even through armor. Although blocking enemies, blows will dull the blade, so attack is the best form of defense. Okay, well that's very interesting. I also paired it with a cumin bow. I figured uh, the more compact size, you know, in reality, than the longbow and the increased power for it, uh, plus, you know, the silence of it would be a great addition for any ranged attacks you may need to do, and obviously you're going to want to you know, pair some good arrows with that. But I also added a dagger, since you're an assassin, that should be your main weapon. Uh, you're going to be killing people, cutting their throats, whatever, you know. Don't don't need to get into gory details, but that's what you'll be using primarily as an assassin. Uh, if we pop over into the armor section, which is what everyone's really here for, we'll start with the clothing, and on that level, we have the Dark Saxon Gamson, the Black Hood, the Brown Hose, Quiet Dark Shoes, and Leather Gloves. That's, uh, I mean, you could include the padded black clothes, but anyway, that's, that's the basic, the clothing for this outfit. Uh, then on top of that, I put some padded chosses. Now, it's very important you pick the right kind. These padded chosses have zero noise and 34 and 29 for vi uh, visibility and conspicuousness, respectively. Uh, the other padded chosses, or uh, at least one of the other ones I looked at, had you know, a decent amount of noise. These ones, however, have zero, so they're better. Uh, then I, t I paired it with the Black Brigandine Pauldrons, which are a cool piece of armor. They can be bought at uh, the Rete Armorsmith, uh, but that way I get some arm armor. And then the quietest, least conspicuous, conspicuous, cheapers, piece of armor I could find for the chest is the Dark Plate Armor Jacket, which uh, has only 36 noise. Um... But so that that all together now you might be able to find quieter items or maybe whatever but I was trying to balance uh, the quiet you know the noise level with the conspicuousness and the visibility and so for this one the noise level being 10 conspicuousness being 31 and visibility being 29 that's pretty low you know considering how much armor protection you have which I'll tell you now using my fancy metric that I use to measure armor which is called a the AAR, or Average Armor Rating, for those of you that have been around for a while. And that's basically just all of the, you know, types, head, body, arm, and leg, all of those averaged out and then added together. So it's not complicated, but it's a pretty accurate way of measuring suits of armor. Uh, now, the AAR for this one is 48.98 uh, as this exact outfit here. Now, that's not terrible considering you're you're almost invisible in this. Not to mention the whole noise thing only being 10. Nobody's going to hear you coming. Uh, you could use better weapons or you could use more suitable weapons for your play style. You could pair it with a shield. If I was going to use a shield, I'd do the black shield, keep the visibility nice and low. But in my opinion, I think this is a great stealth outfit. Uh, this will get you through the game if you want to be an assassin. 
Well, that does it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button. If not, I guess you should give that dislike button a view. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, go ahead and drop them down in the comment section below and I'll do my best to address them as soon as possible. If you like this content or this game, why don't you go ahead and subscribe and turn on notifications so you can stay up to date on all the quality content that I release here. If you need any help navigating, I've got a helpful little link right here on the screen that'll help you subscribe to this channel, and I've also got one that'll lead you to another one of my fantastic videos. But in any case, thanks for watching, and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.